Welcome to the tutorial. My name is David. I'm on the Gradient team here at Paperspace. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Gradient workflow that will build a web application that will allow you to turn a selfie into a deep fake video of you singing an Italian opera classic song. So it sounds pretty crazy, but it's actually really fun, it's really quick, and the end result is that you will have an application on a public uh, URL that will allow you to turn any selfie or anybody that is in the room with you into a, an Italian opera singer. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do here after uh, creating a new project is we're going to go to workflows and create our new workflow. So you'll notice here that the newest template that we're offering in workflows is called Doro. So this is the template we're going to use. This is going to provide the YAML syntax allows us to go and get the Docker images and to start training this model and deploying the uh, model itself to a public URL. So we're going to select this template and if we haven't already, we're going to uh, need to connect our GitHub account to Gradient at this time. So connecting GitHub will allow us to do a lot of cool things with source control and versioning. It will allow us to have uh, events that are triggered later on as we build out this application uh, based on git commits and things like that. So we're going to name this repository Adoro Deepfake Application and we're going to create the workflow. So what Gradient is doing now is it's writing a new repository to our GitHub account and it is going to kick off the uh, two jobs that make up the Adoro workflow template. One of the jobs we're going to see is a validate model job, and the second job is a create deployment step. So nothing terribly crazy, but the end results are super fun. So once the workflow has started, we can see the YAML syntax here on the right. And let's go through this real quick as the two jobs uh, spin up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to tell Gradient that we want to be working on the main branch of our GitHub repository. OK, that makes perfect sense. The next thing we're going to do here is we're going to see that we have two jobs, uh, just like we described. We have a validate model job, which is uh, specified here in the YAML syntax. And we can see that it is also represented here in the UI as this box. So in the validate model step, we are going to be using a P4000 resource or instance type. This is an NVIDIA GPU, and we are going to uh, use this NVIDIA GPU to pull a image from Docker Hub. This is one that we've uploaded ahead of time. So this is in our Paperspace account on Docker Hub. And it is a version of a first order motion model uh, for image animation, which is a groundbreaking uh, research project that was first introduced at NeurIPS 2019. And we've sort of modified it to make this fun, um, this fun application. So in particular, we'll notice that we're calling a few parameters. Uh, we're specifying a few parameters here, including the location of the checkpoint files, the location of the driving video. So this, this video is going to be the reference video, which we are going to use to, um, uh, to transfer motion onto our static selfie image. So in this case, for this project, the driving video has been recorded by an actor a uh, professional actor who has uh, lip-synced uh, this song ahead of time. And so any selfie we use, or source image, is going to be using this actor's 10-second video clip uh, to make them into a great opera singer. Finally, we're also specifying the location of the result video or the output, which should be our selfie. However, we will now be singing uh, the Italian opera song. We also have another job that we're running here called create deployment. And this one is a little bit simpler. All we're doing is we're using a C3 or a CPU instance or resource type to pull a, uh, an image from Docker Hub called a Doro server. And this is basically a simple JavaScript based web application that just gives us a user interface uh, to allow us to gain access to our webcam, to submit a selfie, and then to watch as that selfie is converted into a, a deep fake lip sync application. So at this point, we can see that our, both our jobs have finished. 
Let's check the logs for both of these steps, and we can see that the first one has completed successfully with no fatal errors, and the second job, create deployment, has also completed successfully with no fatal errors. So that's good. We can see here, if you can read it at the bottom, it says Adoro can be accessed at URL, and then it specifies a URL uh, here. So let's go ahead and open that, and let's see if we have our Adoro DPIC application. I'm gonna grant the application access to my webcam. Okay, here I am. So I'm gonna take a photo, and I'm gonna try not to show any teeth. Now I'm gonna upload the photo, and we should see that the uh, model is going to start training on my image and it's going to start transferring the motion from the reference video onto my image, turning me into an Italian deepfake opera star. So we can see here that we're sort of rendering the video and at the end of this we should have a video with sound that we can download and share and send to our friends. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, so that's it. So now you see that we've turned a, uh, we've used a gradient workflow to turn a, um, a first order motion model into a, a basic web application on a public URL that we can use to turn a selfie into a deepfake of us singing an Italian opera song. Thanks for joining.